Hey, sneaky looks back today. Today we've got Salix, the latest version from the Slackware based people. And here we have to get a little look for you. So we've got Home File System Waste Bastard, Salix Online, and our RIC channel. Here's the menu. Comes with XFCE and it's your desktop environment, by the way. Uh, here we go to the web browser and we'll open them up. Go straight to Google, as you can see. And we're going to type in Salix for a laugh. So here we go. And so type S A I I X. Right, Salix is all right if you want a cricket bat, or you want to borrow some money, or is that about willows. I mean, I think Salix looks out to do the old bonsai tree, which is why you've got a bonsai on your uh, background. So yeah. So anyway, that's no good for us, is it really? Because we want to know about the actual operating system itself, don't we? So we'll come out of Google, just like so, and we'll go over to Salix Online. Now, in theory, this should take us directly to their site. Ah, and that's why it's Salix OS is the website. Nothing to you know, bad, isn't it, really? Oh, as it tells you, it's Slackware based, one application per task, excuse me, I've got my tongue tied there. Now, on the installation CD, you get a core, which is basic, a basic, which is basic, and a full. Now, I've done the full installation here, because it comes with quite a few tools, etc., etc. The basic one doesn't hardly come with anything, you just have to add as you go. But some of you may like that. Might you really? So what we'll do go back to the menu and we'll have a good look. Settings. Plenty there, all accessories, staff, as usual you would expect. The same in accessories, all that you would expect. Gene easy text. Gimps there, simple scans there. Hmm, probably wasn't expecting that. Asunder, as you are rip ah, XL your music player. That doesn't come with any codex. So in the menu you have do you want to install the codex? Oh yes, of course I believe and do, otherwise it's pretty pointless for you, isn't it? If you want to do any multimedia whatsoever and you've got no codex. So I've clicked to install the codex here. And this is how it goes through it. And I'm just showing you exactly what happens. Now it st starts downloading the packages for you. Which takes a couple of minutes. So what I'll do, I'll cut that in a bit. And so we're right near the end. And save yourself a little bit of time. Now some of you may like this sort of thing, some of you may not. But if you don't want to run with a pack and you want to try different sort of stuff, say this could be the best starter for you, really, I think. That was, hey, we'll soon find out, won't we? Anyway, that's them all installed. So that was pretty good, wasn't it? Hmm. Yeah, right, yeah. Nothing new, really, is it? That's the trouble with the, the same desktop environments. They, they do all look the same. It's just under the hood, a lot of them are different. So anyway, what we'll do, we'll go and see if the old Flash is installed for us. So we'll just go to the tube today. We wait a bit, we wait a bit, we wait a bit. Let's go to the tube, that's alright. Let's find something for you to watch to make sure it's doing its stuff. Uh, I know what we'll do, we'll do Hard Deep. Mr. Hard Deep, quite a good program he does actually. Go back, Hard Deep we're going to do. Yeah, that one there. Click on him. There we go. Little rings spinning around, and in theory we should get some video. Now my frame capture rate on this today is around about 14, so that's why you've got a bit of judderiness there. It's not the actual platter itself, or the operating system. It's just the frame rate capture I'm using today. Anyway, that was that out of the way. As I said, XL is your doofer. Network, your claws, mail, and Firefox, and Pigeon. You get full open office, which is why it's quite a big download. I mean, if they'd done away with that, they'd make it quite a bit smaller, wouldn't they, really, when you think about it? For your package manager, you have G Slapped. So if we got G Slapped... We click on him. We check in our password again. We click OK. And we wait a little while until it thinks about coming up, just like that. Now there's quite a lot in there. I've updated it, but it's not as full featured as, say, a Debian thing, really. It's not as full featured whatsoever. There's not so much stuff in it that you may want to use. So, like XVID caps, not it, and stuff like that. Have your words in it. Pretty cool. That's all right, isn't it? Oh, what was that I just see? Oh yeah, air cracks in it. Now, why would you want to use air crack? I mean, I just don't know what sort of person would want to do that, really, do you? Why would you want to do that? Mm. <laughs> yeah, but it's there if you want to use it. For checking other people's security on their wireless routers, which you get their permission for first, don't you? Yes, of course we do. Yes. Don't be the bad boys. Anyway, I'll just scroll for it a bit longer. Basically, that's around about it, really. It's quite a big download, but hey, if, if you want to do a Slackware-based stuff, this might be a good starting point for you, instead of going straight to Slack, or Slacks or something. Anyway, that's that for today. Sneaky Linux is going to do some shopping. 
I'll see you later. Bye-bye.